Danny Strickle here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for coming in and checking out this exploration video of Evergreen Cemetery. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you along for this exploration. If uh, you find this video cool or whatever, smash a like. Do, uh, do the things, hit, hit the subscribe. It helps me out, you know, I'm just trying to do this cool stuff for you guys, so really appreciate it. And all to all the people who have been subscribing and to the people that I've been meeting in Richmond, thank you all so much for being so cool and kind and welcoming. I really appreciate just everyone and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that I get to be able to do these things. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for everything. Today, we are gonna go check out some graves and take some photos, fly my drone, it's a beautiful day up here, and this place is huge. I don't think it's as big as Hollywood Cemetery. It's also very flat and has a lot of woodland, which is very, very cool. I like cemeteries with a lot of trees. It just reminds me of, you know, being in horror films, and it just, it just takes you to a place. And, it like, it's that scary place. But we're out here during the day because uh, the place closes at dark and there's no trespassing, there's cameras everywhere and I like to come out and explore and just respect uh, the lives passed on and the, the cool architecture that they're leaving behind for us to uh, adventure out and explore and get to know uh, the people of the area. I have been getting some requests from some friends of mine to check out Evergreen Cemetery. It's a beautiful day out here. I think it's like 70 degrees right now and that's so pretty. I'm gonna take a photo of that here soon. But I've been getting some requests to come out here and do some exploring videos. I'm gonna try to find some certain graves and all in all, I'm just gonna try to enjoy this time that I, I have out here pretty much to, by myself. There's, I think, one other person here. Um, and there's a guy who told me where to park. He's on a tractor, that guy's really awesome. And if, uh, dude, you see this video, uh, thanks for letting me park where I'm parked while you do tractor work. But anyways, I'm gonna take some photos, I'm gonna get some cool B-roll, let's get into this vlog. This is really cool. Look at how beautiful this place is. Oh man, look at that tree just blown in the wind. beautiful this cemetery is. All the greens and yellows in this grass. Probably because of all the, the shade from when the leaves come in and man, like, it's very calming out here. It's very peaceful. And then I just keep looking around and I keep finding some really, really cool ornate kind of statues. I know I say ornate a lot, but I mean, they are, they're just very well crafted and you can tell how much time, you know, now we have all these fancy marble ones and I'm not, not really a fan of those. Statues, landscapes like this. It's just very interesting to me. I'm gonna get out of the grass there. I think I'm gonna take some photos shooting back this way with all these greens. It's just a very beautiful spot. It's my first time being here, so I'm just excited to check this out. And this isn't, and this is just like one section. This graveyard is also very big. It goes back that way. Some newer graves are all over there. 
but uh, this looks like the most historic to me so guys J. Andrew Bowler March 1st 1862 to October 7th 1935 says this guy was a founder and builder of Mount Olivet Baptist Church, which he pastored for 36 years. Dang, dude. No, that's just wild. I'm not one for religion. I'm a very spiritual person. Believe what you want. That's what I say. But, uh, yeah, like, that's crazy. 36 years as a pastor after he founded a church. It's nuts. Look at Whoa. This looks like something right out of a horror movie. What's up guys? I figured I would just, you know, vlog on the GoPro, even though the audio is probably crap. Uh, I just wanted to give a wide angle shot. This place is massive. It probably looks massive. Yeah, it just kind of goes. I don't know if I'm going to get to explore all of it today. I'm going to try to. I should really deck this thing out. Put a mic on it. Make it like official. Yeah. How are you enjoying the video so far? Let me know down in the comments below. I love uh, hearing people's stories or experiences at places that I'm visiting or like uh, th there's this guy who commented about uh, the Belle Isle Witch. Robert, I believe his name is. Dude, thank you so much for that information because I had no idea and he says it's not a really well-known urban legend. So I may end up going back to Belle Isle to do a spirit box session. Like how crazy is that? To try and contact a witch, and a supposed witch. I think that's pretty awesome to say the least. But yeah, today I'm at Evergreen Cemetery, hanging out, having a good time and just you know, vlogging, doing cemetery stuff, as usual. I haven't even really left one section. I've only been over by the uh, picnic tables behind me. And this, this is where horror movies should be filmed. Respecting the graves, of course. I'm just saying, if a horror movie were to be shot here, or if it has been shot here, you should let me know in the comments. Because uh, I definitely want to see the cinematography that came out of that. It seems that, you know, cemeteries like this often get forgotten. I feel like it's my duty as a uh, paranormal investigator, explorer, travel vlogger to document these places. Because uh, you gotta learn. You gotta learn from your past so you don't make the same mistakes in the future. All right, so I was about to show you guys. I came across this uh, mausoleum. I'm sorry for the wind factor. Hopefully it's not like terrible. See this, the wind just started picking up when I got back near this mausoleum. Dude, I thought I bumped into somebody. You know, like when you knock up against someone's shoe? But look, this is, that's where I was. That's when I felt it. Like there's nothing, there's nothing there that would 
feel like a, a person. Like, like I almost said, excuse me. It got really weird when I got over here. Hello? Is anyone over here? So I put my GoPro on, on my tripod and I think I'm going to turn it on. I think I'm going to flip it around and have it film behind me. How's that thing look? Pretty good? I hope so. And it's daytime, dudes. Dude, that's... Yeah, something is telling me to steer clear of that space. So I noticed that there's like a road down there. And uh, that mausoleum right there, it's not even focusing in right. That, what is going on? It's not letting me focus. Oh my gosh. Guys, this has never happened. Like I've never had this much trouble auto-focusing. For some reason, that mausoleum does not want me to, like, be near it. Yeah, see, so like, what, what is it doing? I do not like whatever is over there. Some bad energy. I'm not feeling it today. No. This is such a pretty, pretty picture. This is such a pretty, pretty picture. Here. Here. That sounded like someone stepping on a branch. Sounds like something's trying to communicate with me. 
find it very odd. Is that an exhumed grave? Or an exhumed bush? That's super weird. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Uh, I'm having a really fun time out here at Evergreen Cemetery where I am just discovering a whole new landscape of beautiful graves and it is just another, it's another immaculate cemetery just outside of uh, downtown Richmond. So, you know, very, very blessed to be out here vlogging and having a good time, checking out all these cool spots. This historic site is crazy. Oh my goodness, it looks like they've exhumed some bodies, which is nuts. And there's a few of them that I've seen like that. Look how big this place is. This is crazy. Look at this. The spookiest part is behind me for sure. This open field. This open field, yeah, kind of spooky. But uh, look at this. It's just a nice tree line. But look at that. Isn't that just the spookiest dang thing you've ever seen? Well, that's all for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a like, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Follow me on Instagram to check out my portfolio. I have all of my, uh, most of my photographs you guys see here will be on Instagram, but uh, there are some others that don't make it to, uh, you know, the socials. So be sure to check out my stories. Go check out Dark Hills Media and Spirit Walk Paranormal on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to Spirit Walk Paranormal if you wanna see more paranormal investigations all the cool stuff that we're working on right now. Yeah, again, guys, my name is Danny Strakel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me on this exploration, and I'll see you in the next video.